financial accounting, statement of cash flows. We've talked about that there's three ways to get cash or to spend cash. They include operating, investing, and financing. We're going to look in particular at the operating section first, and then we'll turn to financing and investing, and then we'll pull it all together. So when we talk about the operating section, you'll remember that I said the first thing that shows up is net income, and then we add back depreciation expense, since that's an income statement uh, item that did not put cash into my pocket or take it out. So I want to add it back because my goal for the operating section is to figure out how much cash we received from operations. So that's the bottom line here. That's what I'm headed for. Now, to do this, I'm going to use exercise 5 just as an example. And in exercise 5, it says that we had net income, according to the income statement, bottom line of $1.2 million. Cruising through the income statement, I see that there's depreciation expense that was deducted in order to arrive at this net income of $820,000. So what am I going to do? I'm going to add it back. I then continue to cruise through that income statement looking for any losses on the sales of investment or property plant equipment or any gains from the sales of uh, investments or property plant equipment. And in this problem, there were none. So need, I will not have to add back my losses or subtract my gains. So that's the first thing you do. You cruise through the income statement and look for non-cash items and then adjust your net income accordingly. The second thing you're going to do is you're going to look at your current assets. And the first current asset is cash. And the change in cash is the bottom, or the answer, to the full statement of cash flows. So that change in cash we will keep and we will use that for the absolute bottom line of the uh, cash flow statement. So that change in cash does not show up in the operating section. The second current asset that you generally see is accounts receivable. Now, in this particular problem, it says that accounts receivable started the year at $1.7 million and ended the year at $2.4 million. In other words, accounts receivable went up $700,000. Now we're going to have to either add that or subtract it. Well, if accounts receivable went up, that means your customers, instead of giving you cash, gave you what? A credit card. So that means that I don't have the money yet, so I'm going to deduct that. The next current asset I see is inventory. And it tells me that inventory started the year at $1,020,000 and ended the year at $840,000. So inventory went down. Well, the only way inventory, a current asset, would go down is if you sold it. And if you sell inventory, that means you what? got cash. So I'm going to add the change, which is $180,000. The next current asset that I see is prepaid expenses. Now when I look at my prepaid, I can see that they started the year at 180,000 and ended the year at 260,000. So did our prepaid increase? Well, the only way our prepaid would increase is if you spent some cash and bought some of that prepaid insurance and prepaid your rent and all of those things. So that means your current assets, your prepaid, that's an outflow of cash. So that's 80000 So notice if I was to do a summary statement about changes in current assets, if current assets increase, that makes your cash go down. If current assets decrease, that will make your cash go up. The third thing you're going to look at is the changes in your current liabilities. And the first one we see is accounts payable. Now, accounts payable started the year at $720,000 and ended the year at $960,000. So your accounts payable increased 
a total of 240. Now, if accounts payable increases, do you still have your money? Yes. So if current liabilities increase, you add it. The second current liability that I see is accrued liabilities. And the accrual or the accrued liability started the year at 100,000, ended the year at 60,000. So they decreased. And if they decreased, that must mean I paid some bills. And if I pay my bills, do my cash go out of my pocket? You bet. And the final one we see is income taxes. Now let's see if you can do this. Income taxes had a change of $20,000. Income taxes started the year at $120,000, ended the year at $140,000. Income taxes went up. If income tax liability goes up, does that mean you still have your money and you still owe those bills? So, what should we do with that $20,000? Well, I'd add it, wouldn't I? Now, taking all these changes, I find that the cash from operations is $1,640,000. So, I may have had $1.2 net income or profits, but notice how much cash came in because I operated my business.